Paul Feinbaum joins us now. And Paul, listen, if you're a fan of boring or the status quo, you need not apply right now. Uh, we are in a time of anything, but what, what do you make of this one and the potential changes to the FCC? Mindy, I think this is one of the most amazing moments in, in college football history. And if, if this goes the distance, and right now I think there's a reasonably good chance it will, you're, you're talking about blowing up the, the system that we now know it. And I think I've said that, and you, you've said it, and a lot of people have said it recently. I mean, how many times can we say this is one of those seismic moments in college football history? We just got through saying it about 22 days ago when NIL came along. But the idea that, that two of the biggest and baddest brands in college football could be moving over to what's already the best conference is, is just, uh, I'm, I'm gobsmacked by it. Uh, and, and what does it mean to the rest of the world? What does it mean to all the other leagues who are trying to catch up and, and now almost have no chance? Well, yeah, the rich get richer. There's no question. And listen, there are a few as plugged into this situation uh, with contacts as you are. What, you know, outside of the SEC, outside of the power players involved, what's, what's been the general initial reaction? Well, I think initially uh, the story broke, uh, I think about 440 Eastern time. And Wendy, I, I was you know, doing a show here, talking to various people, writers, uh, et cetera. And I think most people thought it was a joke. I swear. Like it's just some guy throwing, throwing something up against uh, the wall and see if it sticks. But the more that we heard, the more that we all were able to coalesce around information and the non-denial denials, uh, the reality started to strike. Uh, and and, and, I, and I, like I said, it, it is real. I think it's been real for some time. And it, it just blows up another construct of college football. And, and I'm particularly interested in where are the next moves on the chessboard? Uh, if it's does it stay at 16 in the SEC? Does uh, a couple of other does the Big 12 completely fold? Uh, Notre Dame sitting there is the most valuable pawn left. Uh, do they move to the ACC? Does uh, somebody else move around? I mean, the, uh, frankly, there aren't that many attractive choices. Uh, you know, Notre, Notre Dame really is the, the last of the Mohicans, so to speak, and. I don't know where you go if you're the ACC uh, outside of Notre Dame or if you're the Big Ten, especially, you know, who are you going to pick off that matters? Yeah, listen, I say this tongue in cheek. I know we don't really have a switchboard anymore, but can you imagine answering the vote at Notre Dame this afternoon? I mean, it might blow up the lines in South Bend, but uh, we'll see. Uh, it's certainly going to be interesting, Paul. And as always, we appreciate your perspective. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Wendy. Well, we go back to Hoover, Alabama, where, Greg, you're still there. And listen, you know, you sort of casually said to us yesterday, what, around 4 o'clock, hey, I'm hearing this, there's a report out there. Boy, little did we know, uh, it's certainly more than a rumor at this point. Greg, what, what's the reaction today as compared to when you were there yesterday? Well, the one thing I've found out, Wendy, in the last 24 hours, and it's almost 24 hours to the second, I might add you, is that this is actually a very real thing. Yesterday, it was smoke. Today I've been told it's fire and it also appears in talking to people that are a little more knowledgeable on the situation is that this has been going on for a little longer than we might expect. I also think this is a little bit of a power play from Texas and Oklahoma to essentially listen to overtures not just from the SEC but from the Pac-12 and the Big Ten and even the ACC to a certain extent. So this is a basically a, a leverage play from Texas and OU to say hey we're unhappy with the current normal. We're more willing to listen than ever before. Give us your best offer and let's see whether or not it's something we want to consider. I've actually talked to people surrounding the SEC and basically they're viewing it as this. The SEC is already remarkably strong. The SEC is already remarkably financially strong. But with the addition of Texas and OU, it can become essentially the sole destination for the highest levels of college football. And I think that's a big, big attraction for the SEC at this moment. So Des, I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know what the timeline looks like. All I know is that if Texas and OU join the SEC, you're potentially looking among the top 15 programs in college football, seven or eight reside in the SEC. It would be a seismic shift and one that would alter college football forever.
Yeah, I know. When we talked about this yesterday, when it first broke, Greg, when you first broke the news on this show, College Football Live, I was trying to figure out what's the motivation. And there are only two motivations, two factors for a team to try to uh, jump to another conference. One would be for a competitive advantage. And number two would be for financial reasons. Well, I think we can throw number one out the window because I don't think the Texas Longhorns or the Oklahoma, Oklahoma Sooners will get some sort of competitive advantage by leaving the Big 12 and going into the SEC. But number two, financial reasons, that's when it starts to make sense. And then you understand why they may want to join into the SEC make a super conference, and we already know on the table is a new proposal for the college football playoff, so some sort of expansion, maybe to go to 12 teams, maybe to go to eight. They understand that the financial ramifications and leaving the Big 12, and they just feel like the Big 12 probably as a conference doesn't offer them all of the financial guarantees that they want or that they deserve as a brand. Texas is a huge brand, so is Oklahoma. So now they say, hey, but the SEC, this is a, a conference or a league that's more in line with our brand. So this is all about a financial move at this point. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.